In That Kid, The Story of Jerry Lewis, Richard Gemmon presents a fascinating exploration of Jerry Lewis's rise to fame and the complexities of his persona. The biography captures both the public and private sides of the comedian, offering insight into how his unique talent and drive made him one of the most iconic figures in American entertainment. Gemmon portrays Lewis as a figure shaped by contradictions, both a beloved entertainer and a man struggling with deep insecurities. These contradictions are at the heart of what makes Lewis such an enduring subject of interest. The narrative focuses on Lewis's early life and the various influences that shaped his career. Born into a show business family, Lewis's childhood was marked by an intense desire to succeed in the entertainment industry. Gemmon reveals that Lewis's humor and eccentric persona were partly a reaction to his father's failed attempts at fame. This early exposure to show business, along with a deep-seated need to prove himself, motivated Lewis to develop his own style of slapstick comedy that would later set him apart from other entertainers of the era. The biography emphasizes that behind Lewis's comedic genius lay a profound sensitivity, which often manifested in the form of a desire for validation and approval from his audience. The partnership with Dean Martin is a central part of Gemmon's account. Lewis and Martin's pairing was electric, combining Lewis's frantic, physical comedy with Martin's smooth, laid-back demeanor. Gemmon highlights the chemistry between the two, which captivated audiences and made them one of the most popular entertainment duos of their time. However, Gemmon also delves into the tensions that developed between them, suggesting that their eventual breakup was inevitable due to their contrasting personalities and ambitions. While Martin sought to distance himself from their comedic partnership to pursue a more serious career, Lewis's obsessive work ethic and desire for creative control caused a rift that could not be mended. The book provides insight into Lewis's creativity, showcasing him as more than just a performer. Gemmon highlights Lewis's innovations in filmmaking, particularly his use of technology and his keen eye for directing. As Lewis transitioned from on-stage performances to the world of cinema, he became a trailblazer in the industry, most notably through his early use of video assist, a technique that allowed directors to view a scene immediately after filming it. Gemmon presents Lewis as a perfectionist who was constantly striving to push the boundaries of comedy in filmmaking, often at the cost of his relationships with others. Beneath the public persona of the zany, childlike comic, Gemmon also examines the darker side of Lewis's life. The biography touches on his struggles with health issues, including the physical toll that his high-energy performances took on his body, as well as his battles with depression. Gemmon paints a picture of a man who, despite his success, was haunted by feelings of inadequacy and a need for constant affirmation. Lewis's personal relationships, particularly with his family, were often strained as a result of his singular focus on his career. Gemmon's portrayal of Lewis is both sympathetic and critical. He does not shy away from addressing the more problematic aspects of Lewis's personality, including his controlling nature and the way he often alienated those around him. Yet, Gemmon also acknowledges Lewis's contributions to the world of entertainment, recognizing him as a pioneer whose work has left a lasting impact on both comedy and filmmaking. In That Kid, The Story of Jerry Lewis, Gemmon offers a nuanced portrait of a man who was both a comedic genius and a deeply flawed individual. Through a blend of admiration and critical analysis, Gemmon captures the essence of Jerry Lewis, revealing the complexities of a man who spent his life making others laugh while battling his own internal struggles. The book serves as both a celebration of Lewis's achievements and a candid look at the price of fame.